Bol and Apollo are connected through cultural and religious syncretism, which occurred as various ancient civilizations interacted and exchanged ideas. Although Bol and Apollo are distinct deities from different pantheons, Bol from the Semitic, Canaanite Phoenician tradition, and Apollo from the Greek pantheon, similarities in their roles and attributes led to certain overlaps when cultures came into contact. Bol, meaning Lord or Master, was a title used for several deities in the ancient Near East, particularly among the Canaanites and Phoenicians. The most well-known Bol was Bol Hadid, a storm and fertility god associated with rain, thunder, and agriculture. Think geoengineering, weather modification and weather warfare. Bol was also seen as a god of life and death, as his control over rain and fertility was crucial to crop cycles and, by extension, survival. He was often depicted as a warrior god who defended his people from chaos, sometimes associated with the bull as a symbol of strength and fertility. Apollo is one of the major Olympian gods in Greek mythology. He is the god of the sun, music, prophecy, healing, and archery, often associated with light, rationality, and the arts. Apollo was also connected to healing and disease, as well as prophecy through his oracle at Delphi. While Apollo is more widely known for his role as a solar deity, he also has a martial aspect, wielding a bow and arrows that could bring both healing and plague. Think Covid, sun and light, over time, bowl, especially in later interpretations, took on solar characteristics. This is particularly evident in syncretic contexts when the Phoenician and Canaanite gods were identified with other Mediterranean deities. Some versions of Bol, especially Bol Shamosh, were associated with the sun. Apollo, as the Greek god of the sun, later conflated with the earlier sun god Helios, shares this solar aspect. Both gods, in their respective cultures, became linked to the life-giving power of the sun, symbolizing vitality and health, viruses and disease. Apollo was a god of healing and disease, bringing both remedies and plagues. Similarly, Bol, in his role as a storm god, was also responsible for fertility and destruction, as storms could bring both life-giving rain and devastating floods or droughts. Both deities thus held sway over forces that could nurture or harm, depending on how they exercised their power. Cultural syncretism. As the Greeks came into contact with the Phoenicians and other Near Eastern cultures, religious syncretism occurred, where gods from different cultures were identified with each other due to similarities in their functions. Greek settlers in the Near East, for example, often identified Bol with Apollo due to their common associations with light, protection, and fertility. In Hellenistic times, as Greek and Semitic cultures became more integrated, Bol was sometimes merged with Apollo in certain regions, especially in areas influenced by both Greek and Phoenician cultures, like parts of Syria and Lebanon. This syncretic blending allowed local populations to worship deities that embodied characteristics of both gods. Example, Baalbek City of the Sun. The ancient city of Baalbek, in modern-day Lebanon, provides a concrete example of the syncretism between Baal and Apollo. Baalbek was originally a center of worship for Baal, particularly in his form, as a solar deity Baal Shamosh. Later, under Greek and Roman rule, the site was rededicated to Helios and Jupiter, but also bore connections to Apollo due to his association with the sun. The blending of local and Hellenistic deities is evident in this and other ancient religious centers. Summary. Bol and Apollo are connected primarily through the process of cultural syncretism, where their roles as solar deities, healers, and protectors of life led them to be associated with one another in regions where Greek and Near Eastern cultures overlapped. Their shared attributes, particularly their connection to light, fertility, and dual powers of healing and destruction, allowed for a blending of their identities in certain contexts, especially during the Hellenistic period, 